What it do, y'all? Paisley Panda here, and I have a point that I'd like to share with you, which is bubbles. Really excited. Yes, right here. Gonna, that machine should hopefully turn. Oh my goodness, there it goes. Already look. Look, already look. There are bubbles. Wow. Whoa, already there's a bubbles. What are those things? Oh my goodness. Whoa, it hit your ear. You don't know what to think about. And it's actually a few points I'd like to share. By the end of this video, you will know how to create an automated action to have bubbles blowing during your next stream through StreamerBot. And in fact, you could put together a whole lot more depending on what you have in mind after the end of this video. But first, there are a few steps needed to accomplish your goal. For physical items, you will need a smart plug, a bubble machine, bubble. Of course, now that we have all our needed items, we can check out the accounts we're going to need for setup of this bubble action. We will need to make sure we have StreamerBot downloaded and connected with your Discord account. You will also want your Smart Plug app. This can be for Android or Apple if needed. The Casa Smart Wi-Fi Plug Mini EP10 is the Smart Plug I chose. Small, simple, smart. And exactly that. It fits exactly where I needed it to to be able to plug the plug in. And I also have some additional plugs as well. So I got the four pack and we'll be sciencing some more later. And of course, if, if this, then that, which I've been calling IFTTT for literal weeks. I'd like to add, there are several smart plug options. With if, as you can see here, here's some of the services, UE link, Hive Action, iHome Control, TP Link Casa, which is what we'll be utilizing, My D Link, Wink, Pivot, Power Genius, V Sync Outlet, Wemo Outdoor Plug, Wemo Smart Plugin Wise. You get it decide. So you're all aware, I will be linking this page as well as all the other pages we will be utilizing down in the description below for your convenience. For the reference of the video, I'm on version 0.1.19. To connect your streamer bot with Discord, let integrations and under streamer bot website go to your settings you'll make sure that you log in right here easy peasy just like that we'll come back to streamer bot later now that we have discord connected this was a step that i missed for literal weeks and it's my hope to help you not get stuck and allow the action to work as intended let's go ahead and log in to if we'll place your information here now that you've created an account let's go ahead and hit create so we can create an applet if this, which is right here, we'll want to connect our streamer bot, which is right here. My streamer bot is currently connected. If you did not have your streamer bot connected, you can connect it here. Streamer bot integrations page with IFT. Again, everything will be linked down below. This will also give you some examples of what people have already created inside of streamer bot connections. This will just be a sub action. This trigger fires when an if notification sub action is executed from StreamerBot. We're gonna click that. As you see, my StreamerBot account is connected. We'll want to create an event name. This is important. We'll call this Bubbles, which I'm going to copy because it's important that this matches the name of the notification type used for filtering events. We're gonna create that trigger now. You know, it's Bubbles with four S's. If this, then that. If there is a sub action happening in StreamerBot, then I like for bubbles to happen. So let's go ahead and add our bubbles. What we'll need to add is Casa. Click right here. And you'll notice there are a few things we can choose. Because this action will be used to both turn on and turn off this action inside of streamer.bot, we will be utilizing toggle. This action will toggle a device, which is exactly what we'd like to do. If you need to connect your account to CASA, if it has the PP Link CASA integration right here, you can connect. It also shows some really cool integrations you could choose to do. I'd like to, you get to decide. Lots of different things you can do with those devices you see. Lots and lots. There are. My account has already been connected. And on my account, I have connected 
bubbles, which is connected to my bubble machine. Now we shall create action. Wonderful. As you can see, we've now set up our streamer bot with our bubble machine. It's connected to our smart bug. Applet title, if notified by streamer.bot with the event name, bubbles, then toggle, bubbles, finish. Wonderful. What'd it do, y'all? Post editing me noticed that you can't see the actions being clicked inside of StreamerBot. I wanted to briefly show you when you're inside of your sub actions, if you were to right click, you can locate the two items here that we utilize under if for the basic notification, as well as under core, you can find the delay. Additionally, under commands, we made test bubbles. We double click here. We created exclamation point test bubbles. Under action, we've selected the bubbles that we've created. We choose to add additional group permissions. I'm gonna leave as is for right now, the video. Hit okay, and let's proceed. Now we'll want to set an action inside of Turnbot. You can right click and hit add. I'm gonna add in my group if, so I've already created one, and I will name this you can name this whatever you want, really, but I will name this Bubbles. Help me remember. And keep it just as is our default queue. I'll execute as intended. And now here, we need to go ahead and find if. And our NIF notification basic will be fine. So we'll get our event name and place it right here, which is Bubbles. Add that right there. For the if notification, Make it easy on yourself. You can just go ahead and duplicate that action right there because this will toggle the action. So this in theory should turn it on. And this here will turn it off. However, if we were to use this action as is, it'll just turn it on, turn it off. And we don't want that. So now we'll set up a delay. To add a delay, you can right click. We'll go to core. Hit delay. This is in milliseconds. I would not encourage clicking random because that can get very scary. There will be lots of suds and lots of bubbles. This should be 10 seconds. 10,000 milliseconds. And we will not want delay at the end because that will be very silly because again, it would toggle it on off and then have a delay for no reason. So now we have our notification, our delay, and the notification again. It'll toggle. We should toggle it on. Delay. We'll allow it to, talk, to stay on and then after the delay ends it will then toggle it to toggle it back off we now have bubbles as a new command one easy way to be able to test this we can go to add here and for our command test bubbles and i will add the command we just created we'll scroll down bubbles select and allow. So now we have test bubbles. Alrighty y'all. I wrote here test bubbles. So with no typo, it all should go as planned. Just again to briefly recap. Smart plug, plug in wall, bubble machine, plug in the smart plug. We'll have the machine on as if it were to be on. However, your smart plug will have it off and allow it to turn on when it allows it to and if all goes to plan, when I hit chat, and what it test, do. we have bubbles! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Yas! Just like that, 10 seconds in, and the bubbles have stopped. We have successfully created our bubble command, and that's exciting. I hope that this has been helpful for you. If you like what you see, be sure to hit that like button and or subscribe button down below because it's free and it greatly helps the channel. You can even hit the bell notification to get notified when I post videos. If you have any suggestions for the next video, comments or questions, be sure to post them down in the comment section down below. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out my video. Much love, many blessings, and I'll catch you in the next one.